Reggie the alligator left to roam a lake in Los Angeles a few years ago. Well, another gator was spotted in Echo Park Lake just two weeks ago. Yeah, but this one ended up being fake. It's all part of an art project, and as NBC4's Makalo Medina explains, it could be coming to your neighborhood. Not too many people here. YouTube video captures the moment when Kent Yoshimura's 23-foot-long water-barreled beast was dropped into Echo Park Lake. Oh, it's Yoshimura waist deep in the water to help get it around the lake and causing a stir with neighbors. If I could get some sort of reaction, whether it's um, a smile, disgust, terror, you know, it could be, it could be on either spectrum. I, I feel like that's what art should be. It didn't scare people, but it did freak out a lot of neighbors who called city workers to get the alligator out of the lake. Social media captured that moment. Yoshimura knows his unauthorized public art is only temporary, but the conversations it starts last much longer. When you create a public piece, you have to expect the public to respond to it, whether it's good or bad. Public art is Yoshimura's specialty. He paints kiosks in Little Tokyo, utility boxes downtown, and goes big, really big, in a neighborhood near you. Alligator in Echo Park Lake, 20-something foot beached whale, giant uh, head in Little Tokyo, the blooming flower in front of Starbucks. And they're hard to miss, sometimes 12 feet high, sometimes 8 feet wide, all the time doing what artists want art to do, make us all begin to question. Most of the time, I guess my pieces are just, okay, how, how can we get people to interact with spaces? Um, and how do we get people to respond to their environment. For Yoshimura, a full-time entrepreneur, his art is only part-time, but something he has a deep passion for. His work is done in spaces like these warehouses in downtown, where he takes scrap metal, wire and scissors, and you know, creates something he hopes will change someone's day. Um, it transforms that moment. His next project will be authorized and will probably be up for a pretty long time. He's working on a sculpture for Little Tokyo. In Japanese restaurants, there's like that cat that tries to wait you in. I'm making basically like a giant, maybe like 15 foot tall one of those <laughs> to put in little Tokyo to greet people in. Well, as for his next unauthorized public art, that's on the down low. We do know it'll be large, it'll be colorful, and it will probably spark a conversation. In downtown, I'm Akala Medina, NBC4 News. And by the way, Yoshimura's largest art piece was that 20 foot whale he talked about. He placed it in the LA River in 2015. Cool.